Hi everyone, Lando Assistant here. Let's talk about the seven bridges of Konigsberg. One of our followers from the Philippines named June sent us a question. Are the seven bridges of Konigsberg traversable? This problem has historical significance in mathematics because the famous mathematician Leonard Euler laid the foundation for another branch of mathematics called graph theory as he was solving this problem about the Konigsberg problem. So going back now to the question of this network of bridges being traversable, if we can represent this network of bridges as vertices and lines connecting those vertices, then we are forming a graph that we can analyze whether it's traversable or not. In layman's term, if we can trace the shape of a graph without lifting our pen and without going over a side more than once, then we say that the graph is traversable. In other words, if you can cross each bridge of the Konigsberg bridges exactly once, then we can say that the Konigsberg bridges are traversable. To analyze this problem, let's begin with some simple graphs. Let's say we have this red graph at the right and we ask ourselves this question. Can we draw or trace this shape without going the same line more than once? We can try. We can go this way, that is one, then go this way, another one, go this way. At this point, we are not crossing any side more than once. Then we go this way, then we go up, then we go this way, and we go down. Notice that I was able to trace all the sides of this graph without lifting my pen and tracing each side only once. And therefore, this shape that I have just traced is traversable. Now let's try another graph. Can we trace this shape without going the same line more than once? We can try again. So let's say we do this way. One, two, three. If I go up here, 4, and go down here, I can no longer trace this right side without lifting my pen. And you can do some experimentation, and you will realize that it is impossible for us to trace all these lines without lifting our pen and without crossing the same line more than once. And therefore, we now say that this graph at the right is not traversable. So the question now is, is it possible to predict in advance or represent mathematically or compute mathematically if a given network is traversable or not? We are going to find out as we go along in this lesson. So let's define first what is a network. A network, just like the graph that you have seen at the right, has vertices and lines. The vertices are these points, Let's say we can call this as point A, point B, point C, point D, and point E. And the lines can be represented as line AB, AC, BC, CD, CE, and so on. Then, an even degree vertex has an even number of sides connected to it. For example, vertex A is an even degree vertex because there are two lines connected to it. Line AB and line AC are the two lines connected to point A. Similarly, an odd degree vertex has an odd number of sides connected to it. For example, vertex B is an odd degree vertex because we have line AB, line BC, and line BD connected to vertex B. And there are one to three lines connected to it, and three is an odd number. And so going back to our question, is it possible to predict if a shape is traversable or not? Here is now the important lesson. There are two conditions that we can look for in order to check whether a given network is traversable or not. The first one is all the vertices are even degree. If all the vertices of a graph are all even degree, then we can conclude that the network is traversable. The other condition is, 
if exactly two vertices are of odd order and the rest are even, then the graph is also traversable. So in here, let's check whether this graph at the right satisfies any of these two conditions. First one, all the vertices are even degree. For vertex A, we have two lines connected to it, so it's even. But for vertex B, there are three lines connected to it, so B is not an even degree vertex. How about the second condition? Exactly two vertices are of odd order. We know that B is an odd order vertex. D also is an odd order vertex. You have one, two, three lines connected to it. E is even. You have one and two. C is also even because you have one, two, three, four. And therefore, A, C, and E are all even ordered vertices. And vertices B and D are odd order vertices. That satisfies the second condition. Exactly two vertices are of odd order and the rest are even. And because this satisfies the second condition, we now have shown that this network is traversable because I can now trace all of these lines without lifting my pen and without crossing any line more than once. And we do that this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Notice I was able to trace all the lines without lifting my pen. You can now equate all these lines as the bridges and all the vertices representing landmass in our Konigsberg problem. Now, let's look at the second example. Why is this not traversable? Let's check if any of these two conditions are met by this graph. Looking at this vertex, we have one, two, three. So this is an odd vertex. This is also an odd vertex, and this is also an odd vertex, and this is also an odd order vertex. So because there are at least four odd order vertices here, that already violates our second condition. And of course, since there is at least one odd order vertex, then that already violated the first condition. Because these two conditions are violated, then we can conclude that this graph at the right is not traversable. So with that as our preparation, we are now ready to answer whether the Konigsberg bridges are traversable or not. So first, we are going to represent this physical topology using graphs. And the way to do that is we represent this landmass as a vertex. Let's call this as A. So this is our A. There's a landmass here. Let's call this as point B. Let's call this as point C. And let's call this landmass as point D. So from point B, we can go to point A either by taking this bridge or by taking this other bridge. That's why we have this one and this other one. And from point B also, we can go to point C this way or we can go to point C going this way. That's why we have these two. From point B, we can cross this bridge going to point D which is now represented by this line. And from point A, we can go to point D by crossing this bridge, which is now this line. And from point C, we can go to point D by going through this bridge, which is now represented by this line. Now, is this network of seven bridges traversable or not? Again, we are going to apply the two conditions that we just talked about. Let's analyze whether each of these vertices are even or odd order. So for vertex A, you have one, two, three. So vertex A is an odd order vertex. For vertex B, you have one, two, three, four, five. So again, it's an odd order vertex. Here you have one, two, three, which is also odd. And here you have one, two, and three, which is also odd. Now, since all these vertices are odd order vertices, and there are more than two odd order vertices here, then we violated all the conditions in order for the graph to be traversable. And so our conclusion is that this network of seven bridges in Königsberg, Russia, 
is not traversable. It is impossible for us to go through all these seven bridges without going to at least one bridge more than once. So that's how we solve this Konigsberg problem. This is a problem that's very popular among math majors and this has an important historical significance because only few places can claim that because that place existed, another branch of mathematics evolved as a way to solve the problem presented by that place. So thank you very much, and I hope June we were able to answer your question. See you in the next video.